So some hype shit is going down in fairy tale. You know when I talk about spoilers, it's something that is really interesting to me or something hype in general, and I can't wait for the next chapter. So the spoilers dropped, and we're finding out finally the connection between Heirs of Scarlet and Irene. I'm gonna stick with Irene at this point. Fuck it, I keep seeing Irene. We're gonna go with Irene. Irene essentially is drum roll please, Erza's real mom. Now it kind of makes me wonder, why the fuck didn't she just say that to begin with? She said, you are me and I am you. It was like, she was being way too dramatic about it when she could have just said, hey, um, yeah, you, you came out of my pussy, you know, like, um, I had to push your little fucking ass out. Like, why couldn't she just do that? Why you gotta put all this dramatic shit and make us question, like, what did she mean? You are me, I am you. It's like, bitch, you're her mom. You should have said that to begin with. I, I'm just saying, but we got the awesome, you know, revelation there, which a lot of people were calling it up until the point where she said, I am you, you are me, which made us think, Maybe she's from the future, that's Erza from the future, or possibly Erza from another timeline, or some crazy shit, you know, we had so many different speculations, but no, in this chapter, it's confirmed that she is going to be revealing, I am your mother, and another big revelation as well, and this one kind of got me excited, because it makes me think, Irene can be some serious business, even though, who the fuck knows really how it's gonna go down in the final fight when she fights against Erza, more than likely it'll be like, ah, it doesn't matter, you went the wrong way, and Erza's gonna kick her ass, which is gonna suck, but for right now, you know, just what's going on right now, this is fucking hype, because Irene reveals that she was once upon a time the queen of dragons, and I'm not gonna lie, just hearing that shit makes me fucking get excited, because I mean, the dragons are the strongest motherfuckers in this whole entire world, right? In the fairy tale world. So, her being the queen of them makes me question so many different things. Was she just that she was so strong that she conquered them? Could it be something else? Maybe once upon a time she was a dragon, which essentially would make that Erza's part dragon as well, which could kind of connect nicely in a sense with the dragon slayers and stuff like that, so that would be very interesting to find out that potentially maybe Erza could even be dragon, or it could just be that, again, she was so fucking strong that she conquered the dragons and shit like that, like, honestly, this revelation is just really fucking hype, and is building up Irene to be immensely strong, but... We had the white drag Neil and I mean, I'm glad we kind of cut away from that shit right now because it was like, it was ridiculous or whatever. But nonetheless, it's like Irene is being built up very, very highly. And that's the problem with that right there is that this is so exciting. It's great. But it also puts Irene on a pedestal. If you were able to conquer dragons or you're a dragon yourself, whatever it may be, and ultimately you lose somewhere down the road in a one-on-one -on -one against Erza, it's going to be like, are you fucking kidding me? How did you conquer dragons? How did you become the queen of dragons if you're gonna lose to anybody? Like, we've seen she has incredible magic. We've seen she's a beast. And now this revelation that's Erza's mom and she conquered dragons and she was a queen of dragons. Like, so insane. But again, it makes me so scared for the future of fairy tale because if she takes an L at this point being put on that high of a pedestal, so, oof, something's something oof. also like in the spoiler as well we find out that Erza says she doesn't really give a fuck about her parents it's like whatever you know fairy tale is my family this and that so I like that aspect as well it's kind of getting into Erza's head and she's like I don't really care which I always personally think that at the end of the day sometimes people that are not your blood relatives or not anything of that nature they could be your friends and they're more so family to you that's my you know take on life in general it's like I could appreciate somebody just because they're an amazing person and they've treated me with nothing but love and care more than you know somebody that's related blood wise that treats me like absolute dog shit and it sounds like i'm going way deep into my life but yeah i'm just giving my perspective on life in general and i don't know why i'm doing that in a fairy tale spoiler video but fuck it why not and also we got her full name irene bersurian which more than likely that means that erza's real name is erza bersurian unless you know the father name or whatever but it could very well be that that's erza's real name so really exciting stuff there honestly i'm very very excited for the next chapter it does make me worry and i want to know what you guys think i gotta pose this question with this revelation that irene was once queen of the dragons if she loses to erza or you know anybody in fairy tale do you think that that just makes it even worse because they put her even in a higher pedestal i mean we already saw that she went toe to toe no fear in this woman's heart against the acnologia she went up and she was like bro i'm gonna cut your dragon dick off and make you eat it son like she was a beast so you add that up with the fact that she was once queen of the dragons do you think if erza 
Lisa beats her on some friendship thing, it's gonna be even worse. I mean, it, it's like, oh, this is so good, but also makes me worry so much in the future, and it sucks that you gotta be that way, but I like to be on my toes when it comes to fairy tale. I like to be making sure that I don't get super, super disappointed, and that's where my worries come in. And how do you feel about this revelation? Do you think that it was ridiculous for her to say, I am you, you are me, we are one, when in reality, she's her mom. It's like, what the fuck are you on about, mate? Can you just fucking say it, Roy? Ain't no rule, though, so these spoilers. I can't wait for the chapter to drop. We got a few days until then, so post your comments in the comment section below, and please, Hiro Mashima, do not make this fucking amazingly sounding woman go down in one fucking hit on some fairy tale friendship bullshit. I'm just saying. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fanet World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.